What's up everybody, Foolish Azazel here. Uh, before I hop into some ranked matches and continue my grind to God of Destruction, I wanted to watch some replays and I wanted to share it and give some insight into how I like to analyze my gameplay. And hopefully you guys find it interesting and you adapt some of these things. So what I do is I don't watch and any set I don't watch all the replays. What I like to do is watch the last game. The last game will have everything that you need to know on what you need to correct, on what you did right, and what you did wrong, whether win or lose. Secondly, I also like to grade my rounds. So in the middle of the round, uh, well, rather in the middle of watching the replay, I will have my notepad, which I have here. You don't see it but I will be taking notes and I will give myself a plus or minus based on certain interactions in the round. And so let's go ahead and hop into my last game with Tyler Beecroft. Ty, one of the best Brian players in, in North America. And let's see how he whip my ass. And I'm gonna grade the, the rounds battle. and hopefully you get an idea of it. Hopefully you find something useful. Hopefully you get something out of it. I guess, um. When I get into the the replay, I will show you my setup. So you do how you like to do it. I like to do it like this. We're gonna do. Oh, sorry to collect myself. We're gonna do player attack info display because I want to see if I'm punishing or not. Um, that's the menu on the top, on the left, on top, just to see if like if I got counter hits or punishes or not. Um, then I like to leave the frame info on for both people. Uh, I like to show recommended punishment techniques. You don't have to do sample combos. I think that's a waste of time. Um, of course I want to know high moves like a duck under and why not throw commands. Feel free to set it up how you like. Round one. Right, so Round one. Tie. This is, don't, don't do that. There's no reason to do that move. As I say that I landed. I must have had a read on him or something. Like that, but really no no reason to do that high pressure. Unless you really have that read. I don't remember. Alright, so getting ahead of myself here. Getting behind myself. Alright. Alright, so I crushed the high. So this is gonna be one point. Now let's see what I do with the combo. I'm gonna get to the wall. Am I gonna get this is good. So I'm going to give myself two points here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to subtract the point because I, I spent the heat way too fast. He still has basically half life with, with the chip damage. So I'm, I'm going to do one point. One, because I landed a good combo off a good read, whatever that was. And I got into heat. I would have gave myself two. I should have did. But you should have did, right? Should have just did this right into pressure, and I probably would have took my partner. Either way, let's see how it plays out. I just have a problem with spending it there, and then I could have probably killed him anyway. I just chipping me up, nice throw break. He ducks, he reacts to my uh, running move. Okay, fine. Right here. What is this? That's minus 12. I'm going to give myself a minus point for not knowing that. So, we're going to do minus one point. So, right now I'm at zero, if that makes sense. So, I got one point for starting out good. Um, I could have had a point if I had used my heat better. I'm going to lose a point here. Not because he reacted to my running one plus two. I incorrectly punished that. So, what would have happened? How would this have looked had I punished the quick? Wouldn't have been guaranteed win. But what happens here is I do the wrong punish and he does an excellent. Oh, he didn't get the wall. Does he get the wall? Nah. I'm trying to get out of it, okay. 
Nice. I'm probably gonna do rage. Does he? Do I think I get him here. But this is probably not the best combo. So this is a, the other thing I'm doing replay. Like, could I have done something better? I'm just going to rewatch that real quick because the end of that round. And I want to replay. Was Rage Art the right thing? Um, I've watched this replay specifically already. So, one of the big things I did in this match, these matches, was poor combos in weird situations like that. Got a good punish. This is good. I got out of the wall. That's really good. I like that. He ducked me. Okay, first of all, what did I do? I did that. So this would have killed that bad. Let's see. Hopefully the replay time gives me some. I'm pretty sure he's dead. No, he's not dead. Damn. Jesus Christ! There's nothing I really could have did there. So what did I leave him at with the rage arc? Let's see. Yeah, that, I think that's the most damage I could have got. That's crazy. Alright, so I'm not going to give myself any negative or positive points there for the end. So basically, I ended that round one on zero. Round two. Alright. If I don't get punished, okay, what do I do? Good. Alright. Ooh, okay. No punish on him. Got that off. What happened here? Why did I not... What did I do? Let me watch the place. Also, of course, obviously, I leave the command history on so I did down three, and then I sidestepped, and then I tried to do downs. That's bad. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to be harsh here on myself. That is a minus one. That is bad offense. Bad offense. I got down three on Ty, which he can react to this, so I got lucky, and I didn't take the frames. I sidestepped. I mean... Maybe I tried to sidestep because he, he was walking me. If I remember correctly, he wasn't really. But what I should have did was immediately gone for something. So let's see. Let's, let's go back. He missed the punish here. So that would be like a minus for him. Wow. So I would have had him with a counter hit. Two. All right, if I would have spammed down three, how about this? Yeah, so the, the, the move I went for down four wouldn't have worked, but I don't like that I did this. That's bad offense. I should have took my frames. Um, I, I'm being rough on myself because sidestep after Mantis is not a bad thing, but had I just went for two or tried to take my frames, I also learned that that down four I was trying to go for wouldn't have worked versus his challenge. I'm going to still give myself minus one right there. You see, he's making mistakes too. He's on. A, he's obviously on a secondary character. Whatever he's doing. Try and pull out. Let's pay attention. Let's pay attention. All right. Three sidestep instead of taking my frames. All right. Try to power crush. He goes low. Good. That's just, you know, good on his part. Trade. All right. Good. Block my me. Wow, what a punish. So I'm probably, if I know me, I'm probably going to do the whole string. Since he punished on test two. Yeah, see, I did the follow-up. Yeah, because I'm like... Alright, so that's good. So this is good. I made a read. I'm going to give myself plus one. Plus one. Made a good read. After he harshly punished my one plus two. He really did. He did the 12 frame punish. That's ballsy. And I got got counter hit. So let's see what happens. Alright. 
All right, going to heat. That's good. I'm getting late in life, but I don't have the wall. I'm going to go into a mix-up. Ah, uh, I don't like that I used the heat so fast. So I'm going to give myself a minus one. So after counter hit combo, I did a mix-up, but I spent the heat really fast. I, I, I should have played with it more. This is two times this happened that I spent the heat too fast. I was probably nervous. And I wanted to delete his life bar, but if you notice, I'm nowhere. Look at where the life bar is. He has half his life. This was another thing I noticed in the replays I watched on independently away from recording this. I very rarely had him in a life deficit at all. He was always like a half life. Uh, so anyway, minus one. Did a mix up, but spent heat way too early. I could have got a lot more chip. So let's see what I do with it. Okay. Uh, bad combo. Let's see. Yeah, so what did I do? I did a mix up combo. Wow. Nah, I'm giving myself a minus for that. So, minus one for bad wall combo, man after spending heat so that so the brown one has got me at minus one plus one zero i'm at minus two right now and you notice look what it leads to so i'm getting my pressure in right i missed the down four one jesus christ that sucks he immediately did he react to that or did he? he reacted to it oh i see the down I did down three. Yeah, he reacted to that shit. And look at this punish. Wall splat. With rage and he And he does... This is what I'm saying. This is why I'm being harsh about this particular interaction. Because had I done the right combo, he would have been closer to death. And maybe I don't end up in that situation. And guess what? He does a better combo to me. Good punish. Better combo. He won the round. And I am down minus two on that round. Alright, so let's make sure right round three i'm in my notes that's why i'm pausing let's go back round three fight all right try one plus two whatever okay see he's changes see he's he's a little nervous now but that's probably not the right response either he's just getting greedy on the punish all right then i follow up one plus two four okay good ah reaching minus one why did you go for random down back one plus two. I really let the fact that it's tied get to me instead of just playing a match. I, I definitely had chances to win in the other replay. I'm not gonna watch it, but so he's gonna get the combo. Let's see. He dropped the combo. Oof. Okay. We trade. All right. Whatever. Ooh, good combo. Get the follow up. I'm done. I'm done. Minus one. So it seems innocuous. Like I don't know if that's the correct word. Yeah. This seems like such an insignificant thing, but like yo, that whole thing happened because of down back one plus two. The rent, like there was no need for going for that home run, and it's not even like that damaging. Not saying don't do it, but it's like man, this this is a good player. All right, so we chip him. Yeah, but this. Okay, good step. I'm getting lucky. All right. I'm um, plus three on that. I tried to sidestep. I got hit. Okay. And then I mashed into minus range. So that's definitely a minus one. Now four. Minus one point. Mashed into minus. Got launched. That's the mistake. Right, so let's see what happens. Launch me. He drops his combo again. Not comfortable with it. Could I have done a better combo here? Let's see. Could I have done the regular combo? No. About four. I did this. So it makes up. So I ended up getting to the heat bar. So let's try. Let's try this one. So I, I did a good thing. What about this? It's over. 
Uh, ultimately, I did a good, I think I did a good thing here. I mean, if you know a better combo for this situation or what I could have did, please let me know. Comment below. All right. So I go into a mix-up. I get him. God, it was risky, but it worked. Okay. Now what do I do? Running three. Very good. Pressure. Oh, wow. Okay, this is good. So you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say plus one. Good combo into setup that led to heat engager. So right now I'm at zero on this round. Why I spent it? Don't tell me. I'm, first of all, minus one, bro. I keep spending the heat early on this match, man. Early again. I almost want to give myself minus two for that again, bro. So now look, he's basically almost back with me with rage and heat. Jesus Christ. Alright. I expected him to sidestep. Because you know what I was trying to do in the course of these matches, these two matches? He has been placing, he's not sidestepping me to death, but he's placing really good sidesteps when he does do a sidestep. So I was like, I'm gonna catch him with back two. It's not good offense. And he just... Should I give myself a minus there? I don't know. I was making a read, so I'm not going to give myself a minus. And I are... Damn, look at the damage. And I already gave myself a minus for spending the heat early, which is what put me here. Wow, I died, bro. That was awful. I think the biggest thing I did wrong was spending heat way too early round three at home taking home run risks like two back twos in a row and down back one plus two i mean i'm not gonna give myself a minus for the two the back two in a row that's what i really did wrong and i know in the other matches i had bad combos but we learned i, I learned that setup that was pretty good that was a good setup i'm not gonna watch this one because i smoked him and he he won and done me let's watch the devil's you one with ito I don't know who this is. We shout out to him. Good games. Ran a set with me. Ready for the next battle. I struggle against Devil's Jim so much. I'm not comfortable at all. So, probably what I'm thinking is I'm going to rely on Sabina's pressure. Now, three. Okay, good defense. Okay, come on. Okay. Here, let's make new notes now. Devil Jin, round one, and I'm gonna give myself a plus one for bullshit. No, uh, I just ran a mix. I got one three. Ran the mix of one three. Got a heat engager. This is good. You want to get a heat engager because you get a full heat bar. Now what do I do? Let's see. All right, running three pressure. Ooh, let's get it. Not bad. Could I have done something better? Let's see. Could have did a slightly better combo. Let's see. The thing is, I was already here. I should have did down for a one, but what I should have did was canceled it. But that's not bad. A few, I could have got a few points extra though. Oh, okay, so it said 54 damage. Let's see what I want to got. This is what you want to go through. The shit like this. Look at that, 62 damage. I could have got a way better combo. Um, it's up to you if you want to hold this against you. Or not, I'm gonna. I'm not going to right now. I'm just gonna say, you know, plus one heat and gate heat pressure led the combo. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna give myself two points for now. But we see. I didn't know that I had the wall probably, so I gotta get better at my wall awareness. Let's, see, let's try this. Let's try this. Five, not much more. 
Get better combos, please let me know. Damn, what a pose, Miss Fina. Please let me know. Wow, that led to his death. Very good. So let's go to round two. Round two. Fight. All right, back two. Okay, playing neutral. Seeing. All right, he has not learned. This is what I'm saying. I'm not comfortable with Devil Chin, but you can see he's not comfortable with Safina, and I am very comfortable running oppressive offense when you don't know what's happening. All right, I'm doing it. Don't watch it. Ah, I got counter here. What happened here? I did down. So what I did was wait for him. Pressure. Pressure. I'm thinking what I the reason I did down forward two plus three is I thought he was gonna do an electric because he was a, a good electric thrower. The thing was I wasn't getting good reads on it, so I shouldn't have guessed. I'm gonna give myself a negative one because I didn't have a good read on his electric timing. My cat is playing with her toy. She's knocking around. Okay, leave her alone. All right, and that led to a counter hit combo. Let me write that down. Uh, led to counter hit combo for him. All right, let's see what happens here. No activation on heat. I would have turned it on, but whatever. I just got hit. What? I tried to down once. <laughs> I tried to do it again. Oh my god, that's awful. Minus one. Forcing down forward two three again. Got hit by a dumb strike. So I wasn't comfortable. If anything, I should have just pressed heat burst. Uh, I was forced forcing down forward once again. Got hit by a dumb string. If anything, heat burst instead. Let's see. What is this for? Alright, so what do I have to do this? If I see it again? Anyway, so... That's not what happened. What was I thinking about here? I should have heat burst. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If anything, you're gonna press the button heat burst. Had I blocked? All right, got a mix. Ooh, into this. Do I give myself a point for this? Ah, you know, I will. Plus one. Ran a mix on so wake up. Got he. It's more so he didn't know what's happening, but this this could happen to anybody. I'm gonna give myself a point. I think anytime you get full heat engager, you should give yourself a point. All right, running the low. Oh, good confirmed. Oh yeah, I confirmed that forward. Look at that. I saw you got hit. This is good. I'm gonna give myself a plus. Plus one confirm. Scarecrow two one combo heat. Very good. I should take him to the other one. Please comment below if you know a better combo. Okay. Very good. And I remember this. He was doing that a lot, and I knew to chill. I'm, no points there. That's just neutral stuff. And wow, bro. That is... Let's land this. Wow, it really... Whoa. Ah, I could have punished him. Oh, 
Actually, let me keep up. Uh... <laughs> wow. Wow. This is a really good answer for Devil's in like Okay, so I'm gonna make a note. It might be worth Devil Jin to challenge down three with that. I don't know what that. I guess it's up forward four. What did he press? What? Is it back two? What does he press? Up. Oh, he did up four. Right? Oh, let me see. Up four, yeah. It might be worth Devil Jin to challenge on three with with up four. Let's talk about Devil Jin friends. Um, also, on the flip note, Devil Jin can really punish if he needs. After down three, this suck. This is the weird part of the game because how many Devil Jins know that? Maybe he was just panicking up fouring, but there we go. Oh, this is round three. Let me start over. Make sure we missed Damn, I lost two rounds in a row. Ah, I'm not gonna. I learned something new. I'm not gonna give myself a minus for that, bro. Alright. Okay. Oh, Devil Jim, man. Very good. You gotta, you gotta, I'm not gonna give myself a minus. I'm not comfortable. No. You gotta watch backswing blow, man. Devil Jin is like Raven and as we say now, he can cheat you out of a situation with that. That is a good move. Friend. Risky without heat, but with heat, he's gonna get he does a bad combos. What I do, I run, wake up, up three. Let me just. I see the wall kind of fell in. Right? This is very good. Actually, do I have the frames for that? Oh, yeah. Plus seven. Boom. Alright. Good. Good heat burst. Yes. I'm going to give myself plus one. Good heat burst. After Scarecrow 2 1. That is a great place to put Heat Burst. I highly recommend it. Let's get it. I lost this. I was scared. Ah, oh, what happened? What? I tried to Rage Art and it didn't hurt. I guess I was just late. Ah, I died, huh? So what happened, man? I didn't know about up four, and I'm not used to dealing with double gym backswing blow. I have a plus one. Technically, I have a minus two if you count those notes as minuses. And I'm not gonna give myself a minus for missing a rage art time. That's why. All right, buddy. Alright, alright. I do remember he was blocking that. Let me see, I'll probably put it better here. No, I didn't. Good. Good flip. Wow, nah, minus. What is this round? Uh, four? Minus one. Random panic down forward two with into heat for Devil Jin. Wow, that's big minus. Ah, yes. Okay. What is this? Ah. I'm plus one. Ah, I couldn't beat it. 
Oh, while standing up, you wouldn't need that. So, another thing is, his down forward one is weird. It looked like, yo, they look like the same move. Why did they make his down forward one so weird? Ew. And he did down forward one too. Uh, I know about this move and I didn't duck it. So this is another minus one. Didn't duck. Down forward one. Straight forward this two. I need to get to heat. See what I mean. Should have got to it. Minus one. Didn't get to heat. I think that's not getting the heat burst. Depending is always a minus one. Ooh, nice duck. Oh, but he get... That sucks for him. Ooh, tracking. 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 Very good. Great use of heat. That happened so fast, I don't even know what happened. Plus one for some. Okay, Raw Tarantula running offense. He messed up. I'm not going to give myself a plus one here because that was bullshit. But this isn't. This is great. I'm making myself a plus one for great heat offense. Plus one. Great heat offense, man. Very good. Alright. Look at this. Look at this shit. Very good. I, I went to the last bit of the bar, too. Look. Don't do it. Boom. Just spend that shit. Very good. Now, the problem is, Devil Jin, you little bitch. Let me lab this. Fucking Eliza. They made Jin and Devil Jin into like bullshit characters. That's what I did. Damn. Whoa. Oh, if I dashed out of this. Forward moves. Forward forward moves catches. Can't do one. Ah. Look at this. Die. Cool combo. I wanna do. Ooh. So, I'm going to say no. Uh, heat engage, heat dash, Devil Jin can literally just, I guess, is that back three? Is that move? Gosh. Back three, yeah. Back three, any standing move. But forward, forward, and running moves. We'll catch it. Good to know. Now he got us. Good whiff. Good offense. I want to win. You win. Besides that misstep. Good offense to close. Plus one. So I'll give myself two points there. That's pretty much how I, um, that's how I go through my grades. That should give you the idea of the process. And I, just doing this has made me so much better. I have spent a lot of time labbing intensely on characters and even picking up other characters I have issues with or need to demystify. This has helped me so much. The, ca the, the, um, 
I lost my words there. The command history lets me know what the moves are, pretty much, right? I could see the inputs back three, whatever it is. And that way I learn about what the moves are without having to, to pick up the character. Because that's how I, I traditionally learn. Like somebody will say, oh, Devil Jin back three. And I'm like, I don't know what that is, man. But now I can see he did back three and I could put the input to the to the animation and get better at recognizing things. Um, and so on and so forth. I would do the same. I'm not gonna I'm gonna end the video there, but you see I had some great matches with this God of Destruction Brian. We had two sets back to back. So what I would actually do is just watch this one. Uh, you don't have to watch all these. And yeah, that's how I do it, man. Just these steps have improved me probably the most in this game. It has helped me recognize good offense. It has helped me recognize bad offense where I stall and I give up momentum or I lose momentum or I don't capture momentum back, etc. It has shown me like all this stuff we sat there and practiced. Like, what is that? What is that move? What happens if I blocked it? How do I stop it? That's how you learn it. Instead of being in practice mode where it's boring and long and complicated and you have to go through moves list, you don't know what's happening. You take this real practice and use it. And it's just helped me tremendously. I can't recommend it enough. So hopefully that helped you guys. If you if it, if you liked it, please consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else I could do, any other type of video formats, or if there's anything you saw in my replays that I could take advantage of.